friends, welcome to another edition of Scrapbooking in Belize. I'm Don, and I got this package today, this parcel from Lindsay over at Artistic Isle. Now, if you don't know where Artistic Isle is, it is an Epsi store owned by Lindsay who does handmade paint. She also sells some markers and paint brush holders. But she sent me this package, and let's see what's in it. So as you can see, I already opened it, so we're going to just flip it over. I love the envelope, this flowery, hibiscus-like envelope. It is so cute. I think it's amazing. I immediately know it was from her when I got it. And she even have her little sticker there. So let's put this away, and we're going to see what's in this thing here. Okay, I kind of tear it a little bit because I didn't want it to and I didn't want you guys see me do the whole struggling of trying to open an envelope and oh my gosh okay. oh there's a card good thing I decided to do that okay okay I have beautiful card from Lindsay artistic isle.epsy.com is her Etsy store and she has a beautiful handwritten note for me oh my gosh love Lindsay thank you Lindsay mm -hmm. oh gosh I feel like I'm opening a scroller box even though I've never had a scroller box before oh gosh look at these paints you guys see that I have 10 paints here in a little palette and I also have this little pouch here with some goodies so let's first see what's in the pouch first the pouch oh my goodness okay the pouch comes with this little quench your creative side artistic eye handmade watercolor paints by Lindsay Instagrammed at artistic aisle dot watercolor oh wow that is so cool i believe lindsay lives in california in the united states artistic aisle another card from her oh gosh and the instructions on how to um open up the palette and she also sent us what appears to be two pieces of scrap paper. Uh, this feels like some very smooth. Doesn't if one feels like watercolor, but I know it's not watercolor paper. It does just it actually do feel like Bristol board, heavyweight Bristol board. And I have two, both in white and black. I guess these are for testing out my watercolors. And I got some dots oh gosh I have Phoenix and wisp mm. got some sample dots there and she also sent some stickers oh gosh throw your kindness like confetti laugh as much as you breathe love as much as you live there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy and today is a perfect day to be happy. Mm, that's a, a beautiful, inspirational coat, little stickers that I could basically put on my sketchbook or in my scrapbook. And I have two Starbursts. One in my favorite flavor, which is strawberry, cherry, and the other one is watermelon. Mm. And those were in the pouch. Let's put that away. And then we get down to the creme de la resistance, which is the watercolor paints. Oh gosh, I have 10 gorgeous colors here. Ah, I love the fact that it's not really sticky. Oh gosh, and it comes with its own little palette, a little vellum sheet with her logo on it. Oh, palette cover, I thought those were sticking together, but I guess they're not. And in the palette has an HB pencil and a very small water brush. Hmm. That I just needed to uh, 
prepare. <laughs> um, let's see what's in here. We have this very teensy, weensy little cute water brush. Oh gosh, this is so cute. It is a number three water brush. Oh, it is so, and the fibers feel so amazing. I'm just enjoying doing this. And I, t I saw the number three, the number three now, the HB graphite pencil. And the watercolors that we have here, let me put them this way. They look so creamy too. We have Arzo Yellow. We have a store exclusive. No, this is Golden Ochre. So we have Arzo Yellow here. I'm sorry. Arzo Yellow. This is Golden Ochre. This is Light Yellow Ochre. And this is the store favorite or a store exclusive, which is Elder Wan. This is Red Alder, Venetian Red. I have Nior Black, Phthalo Blue, Ultramarine Blue, and Sap Green. Lindsay told me that she includes this palette with some of her favorite watercolors. And I told her that my favorite watercolors are the ochre. So I really love the fact that I got golden ochre, yellow ochre, and red elder. Hmm, which kind of looks like a red ochre to me. Okay, I already swatched them out on the little swatch card that she provide and this is a 140 pound 300 gsm paperweight it is a cold press and she did provide a swatch sheet with the names of the colors that were provided and i already did it and these are how they look as you can see I hope you guys can see it i just i just enjoy this little palette it is so cute and as you can see i have my swatch paper all prepared i already have my watercolors so i just want to see what this pencil looks like i'm just going to press really hard and lighten my tone as i go oh gosh this is a nice pencil oh yeah i'm gonna eat one of those starbursts so pretty soon you're just gonna see one go missing Okay, so I'm going to check first its rewettability. I'm not going to miss it first because when I took off the little clear film here, it actually stuck to it. So I'm thinking I don't need to mist it for it to be rewet. Because it doesn't look like I need to do that. And honestly, it doesn't. And I'm just going to go straight from the palette onto my swatch sheet. I first must apologize to you guys. I did not put up a video last week and the one I did put up went up kind of late and that's because I had the flu. Gosh, it was such a terrible flu. As you can hear, my voice is still not back to normal. I'm still kind of cracking up and I really need to keep my uh, talking to the minimum, but I can't, I can't shut up for some reason. Let me get a little bit of water and bring these down. Hmm. Okay. This is Arzo Yellow. And now I'm going to Gold Ochre. Oh gosh, these are so smooth, guys. They're so smooth. They're so creamy. And I even have some little piece for these two because I'm not going to forget about these two. These little dot samples here. I'm not going to forget about them. Oh, gosh. I love yellow oak, the ochres. They're so nice. Maybe it's because I love earthy things so much, and maybe that's the reason why I love the ochre so much. This one is golden or golden ochre or gold ochre. It's heavily granulated. Oh. I can see myself painting some kind of landscape or stream scene with this. And I don't even have to spray these to activate them. They're so easily rewettable and they're so soft. Oh my goodness. I have to be extra careful with it. 
love the fact that it comes in these little palettes and these little sam these little samples here or these travel sets as she call them is have so much color that i thought maybe the half i would have need half pants but no these this is more than enough for me oh gosh i'm in love guys i am in l o v e heaven hmm and this one is yellow light yellow ochre and now her store special which is an exclusive color to her store alone called elder one and look how that looks oh my god i so therapeutic just look at the shimmer coming off the light it's such a beautiful gold color oh wow look at that Gosh, that is so beautiful. Oh, that is a beautiful color. Hey guys, sorry about that. I had to run and do something. So now I'm doing the red elder, which looks like a red ochre to me. Oh. Oh gosh. Let's see what it's like. Oh my gosh, look at that granulation. That is amazing, guys. Oh gosh. Look at that. That is so rich. Those are very rich colors. And now Venetian Red. I don't know. I think I'm going to take it because a lot of it came off on my little sheet here. So I'm just going to take from here. A lot of it came on this little sheet here. And look how easily wettable those are. And look how soft it is. I'm thinking she makes it with some kind of honey, even though she didn't tell me what she made it from. Because it's so, oh my gosh, look at that Venetian red. Oh gosh, look at that. Look how rich those colors are. Look how amazingly granulated those colors are. Oh gosh. And now we're doing your black. I never thought I will enjoy using black, not until I started to do some color tests. I start enjoying and seeing the value of black. I never thought in a million years that I would love black. And look how granulated those colors are. I am so super excited to use these. And those, and the amount of color I have is just, paint I have is just enough. Now this is phthalo blue. I might need to do a little bit of re-wetting here. Just for the drop. My dropper. So... Might need to do the same when it comes to ultramarine blue and sap green. But look how rich those colors are bright. Gosh, they're so bright. I'm going to put this one side to dry. And then we're going to continue with our other... Um, this is one of my favorite colors too. As much as I love the ochres, I also love ultramarine blue. Oh gosh, look at that. 
Look at that color. Look at that color. Look how heavily granulated these colors are. Oh gosh. I think I'm in love. Mm. And the last color that we have here is from Sap Green. Now, I'm going to put this aside for a little bit because we're going to test these little babies out. As you can see, I did left the space for those. And these are some sample colors she sent to me. I guess these are new colors that she's working on and she wants me to look at them. So let's look at them. First color, let's put some water on it, is... Phoenix. See, it's all swatched out. And these colors, like the elder one, has in mica, so they're very, very shiny. So let's put let's put Phoenix here. Oh my goodness! Look how red Phoenix is. Oh gosh. Phoenix is beautiful. And now Elder One. Oh gosh, this it looks kind of looks like those um hologramic colors. It looks blue, but from one angle it kind of looks purple. Oh gosh. And they're so smooth and soft. okay let's put this aside so it can dry I'm not used to working with small brush so you have to excuse me if I seem a little uncomfortable I'm gonna grab my number seven brush and we're gonna do the rest of this with this big boy here so we're gonna put this aside so it could dry and we're gonna do some tests with these colors to see what kind of color variations we can get out of this palette. So let's go. Okay, I'm so sorry, I'm eating a Starburst. Hmm. I thought you were gonna come and see my doodles kind of gone. <laughs> Hoping you guys can all see that. Okay, so I swatched out these 10 colors here. I did not do the last two, just these 10. And these are the color variations that I could have got with it. Now going from Arzo Yellow, and this is Golden Ochre with Arzo Yellow. And as you can see, these are all the colors that you can get. I think this is a very, very, very red palette that I got. It's a, it's a, it's not a very red palette, but it's a palette that is very concentrated on more of the red side of things. But I do love the shining grace, which is sap green. Believe it or not, sap green is my shining grace, because with sap green, I was able to get some of these amazing color variations here. And who would have thunk that both French Ultramarine and Venetian Red or Red Elder couldn't have produced a purple. None of these colors produced uh, purple for me. They produced somewhat of a neutral color more than a purple. And not even Thalo Blue with these two reds could have produced a purple. Hmm. So I was surprised by that. That that blew me off that I didn't have a proper purple with this palette. But I was able to get somewhat of a green here with Thalo Blue and Golden Ochre. And I was also able to get some toned down colors when I did it with the black. Because all of these right here are black. 
and so I was able to tone the colors down just a tad. So now, let's see if we can draw something and paint something with this color palette. Now that we know what color variations we can get with it.
that's it. We are finished. Uh, after swatching out all these uh, paints and seeing the color combinations I could have got for the paints and join my big bird, I can say I love the granulation of this paint. Um, I think my little watercolor paper that I have here that is only 90 pound weight, it might be a little too thin to take all the washes I'm doing with this. But all in all, I love the paints. They are bright. I love how easily rewettable they are. I love how moist they are. I love how creamy they are. And I like that even though Lindsay sent me this, oh my gosh, there is construction going on at my house. <laughs> and that's why you hear all the extra noise. Even though Lindsay only sent me this little bit of paint, this is enough. This is actually enough to paint several, well, several little pieces, especially because I paint kind of small. And I didn't say in the beginning, but I should say that she has magnets attached to these little containers, these little travel sets, so it can easily, and they're strong magnets, so it can easily magnetize, magnetize, magnetize itself to the metal palette that she sent me. And all in all, Lindsay, you did a good job. I told you, I Instagram you, that I actually adore these paints. Thank you so much for sending me and giving me the opportunity to try out your lovely, lovely, lovely handmade paints. I can't wait to try my own paints and so you could tell me what you think. Thank you so much. Um, that's it. Join me next time for another edition of Scrapbooking in Belize. Bye. And I'm going to eat the last Starburst. I'm sorry. I love these.